Well, in news this morning, a new round of rough weather is threatening the Philippines, where the death toll from Typhoon Haiyan is soaring. Survivors face critical shortages there. NBC's News Chief Medical Editor, Dr. Nancy Snatterman, witnessed the hardships and heroics at one hospital. Good morning, Natalie. With the airport blocked, roads closed, and ferries not going, we decided to get on a chopper to get into Takaban to check out the possibility of an upcoming health care crisis. We tried our best, but these are difficult times. Dr. Francis Visto continues to treat the people of Tacloban in the face of impossible adversity. You have no generator, no lights. Yes, ma'am. No power at all since the storm struck. No lights, no power, no security, not even potable water. In the five days since Super Typhoon Haiyan struck, those devastated by the storm have come to Divine Word Hospital for aid they desperately need. Its doors open despite it being officially closed. We, we did our best to counsel them, to make them understand that we, ha we are having a calamity here. Even as doctors, we stayed, uh, we didn't even go to our families immediately, we stayed with the patients. Treating the sick, the dying, even the soon to be born. Contraction's over now. When patients come in now and they're hungry and they've had no water and they're hurting, what do you say to them? We, we just say we're sorry. The storm's ruin taking its toll both physically and emotionally. Did patients die because you couldn't treat them? No, some, somehow, because we were out of resources. We, we just made the most of what we had. As sad as conditions are right now, another concern is an approaching weather system that may bring more rain, and with that, the concern of dysentery and other infectious illnesses. Natalie? Heartbreaking situation there in the Philippines. Thank you, Dr. Nancy.